This is Paul Saraja from the Minneapolis Artists Institute, and on behalf of my colleagues, I have the pleasure of presenting uh, our paper, Transcatheter Mitral Valve Implantation in Patients with Severe Mitral Annual Calcification, or the results from the Tendine Max study. These are my disclosures. Well, as many of you are aware, severe mitral annual calcification, or MAC, often precludes surgical treatment, and there's a poor, pro poor prognosis in patients with severe MAC and MR when left untreated. In some studies, the two-year survival is only approximately 60% for such patients. In this study, we assess the anatomic suitability and therapeutic potential of a dedicated TMVI device in patients with severe MAC who are at prohibitor risk for conventional surgery. Our objective was to evaluate the feasibility of the tendine system for the treatment of MR in patients with severe MAC. We had a study uh, that enrolled patients up to <clears throat> at up to 30, uh, 10 sites with 30 uh, subjects in the United States. And the primary safety endpoint was device success and freedom from device or procedure-related SAEs at 30 days. This table uh, shows the patients who were enrolled in the MAC feasibility study in comparison to those patients who were enrolled in the Tendine early feasibility study. One can see that the patients were slightly older in the MAC arm, 36% <clears throat> were male. Previous MI uh, was slightly lower at 27% and more patients had prior valve intervention or surgery. Overall, the mean STS score was 9%. In this study, the procedure outcomes uh, were achieved in 11 patients <clears throat> with a screen pass rate among all patients who were submitted for the study of 31%. The technical, technical success was 100% with 11 11 patients being successfully implanted. Importantly, there were no procedural mortalities no LVT obstruction, no valve embolization or malposition, no conversion to open heart surgery, no reintervention for mitral valve therapy. About half of the patients, 6 to 11, had pre dilatation with the balloon prior to implantation of the valve. Here are some examples of the procedure results with tendine and severe MAC. Here are simulations that were done with. The <clears throat> CT imaging done as part of the preclinical assessment with device overlay, followed by the actual result here. On the left hand side is an on FOSS view, on the right hand side is a long axis view. And this is in a patient who had had previous aortic valve replacement and also was found to have severe MAC in need of therapy and follow up. This is an example of a patient who had the procedure done with a small annular dimension. The AP dimension here is 22 millimeters with a perimeter of 88. Again, simulated versus actual results, both in an on FOSS view as well as a long axis view. And this is an example of the procedure performed in a patient with caseous calcification. Again, showing simulated results versus actual results in both the short axis or on FOSS view and the long axis view. At six months, there was low all-cause mortality. Uh, at six months, there was only one death that occurred due to mesenteric ischemia at 16 days, and that was the only death observed in the study. At six months, there was also a low rate of adverse events. We had a non-disabling stroke at four days, moderate PVL that was treated successfully with a plug. Two patients had new onset AFib, that was, one of which uh, was converted to normal sinus rhythm. There was no significant mitrosinosis, the mean gradient was 4, and no MR or paraviral leak in any patient at nine, oh, sorry, at 6 months. Here are the results in terms of quality of life, and you can see here there were significant improvements in quality of life as measured by NYHA classification as well as average KCCQ score. Here at 6 months, <clears throat> approximately 90% of the patients had uh, class 1 or 2 symptoms uh, in follow-up, and there's also significant improvement in a KCCQ score with an average that exceeded uh, 25 points. So in summary, there were low rates of mortality and adverse events at 6 months follow-up. There was elimination of MR with the uses, uh, use of this device in patients with severe MAC. There was significant improvement in NYHA class as well as KCCQ. And in conclusion, we feel that the Tendine Transcatheter Mitral Valve Implantation System 
is a potential therapy for patients with severe MAR who are at prohibitive surgical risk due to MAC. Thank you very much.